only 1% of Americans say they are much worse at raising their kids than their parents were. I say it's way higher. About 80%. That's 5%. They got some alcohol in there, so I'm drinking it. I don't drink anymore. I don't drink any less. Slightly cloudy. A little bit of carbonation in there. From my good friends at Eminem Beer. How do everybody? I hope you're doing alright. I'm doing okay here. I, I, was, I was mowing the grass back in the back. Man, it was a big old frog kept jumping out. I, I caught it. This little girl was going to her pool and I was like, hey, there's a frog. And I, caught, I went up and catching it. She probably freaked out, thought I was a creeper. But I mowed the grass and I, I, I stomped a rat to death and a mole. I stomped them to death because they were trying to, it was a rat. It, a mouse ain't that big. You got high grass, you gotta mow it down, man. You gotta mow it down, you'll get crap like that. Anyways, oh crap, I opened it up. Look what you made me do. You made me do. The Brew Kettle, uh, the Brew Kettle Shanty Shores 4.5% 18, 10 IBUs. Tropical Shanty. That's okay, that's a tropical shanty. I can, see that one says Shanty Shores and this is, Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm spilling it. I can't even pour it out of the dang can correctly. And this has a, a heat stretch, heat shrink wrap around it, so be careful when you recycle that crap. Aluminum recycles indefinitely. Anyways, in 1995, Kellogg's paid $4,200 to a guy whose kitchen was damaged by a flaming pop tart. That's where it started. Anyways, that's slight haze to it. Not a not a damn head on it. I, I don't I smell a little bit of like some hops, but that's that's it. Flaming pop tart. So let's get cracking into it anyways. Ay ay ay. It tastes Kind of sweet. You think it's tropical, you goof? Yeah, it's all right. There's not much of a head on it. This seems a little thicker than usual. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm drunk already. It's pretty good. It's not. It's not too bad. It's not too bad for being a tropical thing. You know, it, usually it's overpowered by by fruits and, and it's just too much stuff in there. This is pretty good. It, you get the beer in there too. So it's not too bad. Um, look at that, pineapple, mango, blood orange, and cherry. See, I just, I, I, it's not overpowering it. It's a lot of crap for a beer. I'm, sorry, I'm spilling it. You know what you do when you pour beer and it comes out the side of your mouth? And people, ah, oh, you spilled your beer. No, I'm full. You know. So what am I gonna give this? I can, I can for being. Is that 18 percent? That's 10 percent IBUs. I can get a slight. I mean, Budweiser is 10 percent IBUs, I think. But this, I get something from it. I don't get that from Budweiser. No, you don't. And it's 12 ounces in a fluid can. 12 fluid ounces in a can. Yeah. Anyways. I give it a C plus. This, uh, I give it a C plus. It's pretty good. Uh, it, you know, if I would, would I recommend it? Yeah, yeah. It's not that bad. But I don't know your taste. You might not like these. You know, the you know, fruity stuff. But it's not. It's something I wouldn't take to a party. You know, no, because I'd, I'd take something else. But I would, I, I would buy a six pack of this if there was like this. And Genesee, and Genesee Cream Ale, I'm buying this. That's for damn sure. Or I'd, I'd, I'd buy the Genesee as well. I would take one can out of each six pack that I bought and throw the rest away just so I can do a beer review for you. Anyways, it takes 10,000 pounds of roses to make one pound of rose essence. Whatever that is. Cheers. <laughs> 